Hey, so here's a question. What do you get when you cross a living organism that's struggling for its own existence with emotions, feelings, and then on top of that you add language? This capacity that humans have. What do you get? What would you expect to get from that? Well, you'd probably get a lot of different things, and we have. But you'd also uh, get a whole lot of language that rationalizes the emotions that the organism feels. That is, we would be good at rationalizing. And we would be good at idealizing as well. That is, the sensation uh, that we have, the yearnings that we have, the struggles or appetites we have, the motivations we have, we, with language, would be able to describe a state in which we had total fulfillment of our, our fundamental emotions. That is, whatever we want, we can imagine getting it in spades, really getting it. That is, we get a capacity to rationalize and also a capacity to idealize, to picture in our mind's eye all sorts of mirages, figments of ultimate satisfaction. And since life is a struggle, one of the things we would imagine is somehow transcending that struggle, arriving at what I'll call a platopia, uh, a plateau above it all, the highest form of flattery, I like that pun about it, a plateau that is also utopia. Since we haven't achieved that utopia, and we keep on trying, and we keep on idealizing it in various different ways, and rationalizing our idealization of it, what do we do with our appetite to reach the ideal if we haven't, we'd imagine finding the path, the direct express train from where we are to this transcendent platopia. That's what, that's what humans would do. That's what any organism that had the struggle for existence, like all organisms do, that has feelings and emotions, which are very convincing, and then on top of that, the overlay of language, the capacity to imagine platopias and then imagine that one has found the path to achieve that ultimate goal, that plateau. The path would also be an alleviation from any uh, doubt, wondering whether you're on the right path. It would be faith. That's what, that's what you'd have. Faith that you have found the path. So for the longest time, I've thought of romance as the dream of happily ever after that lives in all of us. And I've only started to realize that since we don't actually get there, the best we can get is the sense that we're on route to it through some kind of path. You think about the term, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I think what we really mean by that is, I have found a way to stop feeling lost. So my definition of romance these days is now, you could say, amended. It's the dream of having found the path to happily ever after that lives in all of us. And think about the ways it plays out. It plays out when you have found a soulmate. This would be a romantic sense that you have found a pathway, a clear express train from here to your goal of partnership bliss or marital bliss. And think of how strong that feels to us, the sense that we have found our path. Think of how it plays out in religion. Same thing. Once you have found a path to get to heaven, once again, it's very advantageous that heaven is in the afterlife because we clearly don't have it here. Uh, it, much as we might want it here, we don't get it. So better to put it in the afterlife. So when you think about religious faith, it's this sense that you have found a groove without exits, an express train, without stops or questions or doubts, all of which stirred uncomfortable emotions in us, anxieties, uh, ambiguities, none of that. You have found the path, you are on the path, and you are going to get to your destination, heaven. And then think about it in political ideology. Same thing. MAGA is an infatuation with a path to make America great again, in the, in the form of Donald Trump as the great Moses of that movement. What uh, making America great again actually means is left open to anyone's imagination. We, could, we can start to generalize about the sorts of things that they want. They want uh, racial inequality where the whites are supreme again and uh, bounty and happiness and the comforts and, that we nostalgically remember incorrectly from the 1950s and 40s maybe, the boom years. Everybody would like to get back to there. Uh, there'd be the same thing in religion, the idea that we fell from grace and we can return to grace. But this appetite, 
The enthusiasm is for having found the path to make America great again. So once again, my definition of romance has been broadened, more inclusive, and also has been amended. It's the dream of having found the path to happily ever after that lives in all of us. It's not I once was lost, but now I'm found. It's I have found a way to not feel lost.